the torch has been around for decades. A lot of people assume that working for the torch is too much work. Well, it is, but it's worth it. And it may not be as bad as people make it out to be. There are different positions, editor-in-chief, managing editor, copy editor, layout editor, photo editor, graphics editor, staff reporters, staff photographers, and contributors. They each have their own responsibilities. So my duties as web editor consist of basically putting the stories in print onto the website and updating the Facebook and the Twitter, as well as trying to find web exclusive content, whether it be videos, photos, stuff like that, and putting that on the web to get people to go to the website and try to make it separate from the paper so that we have not only a written presence, but a web presence as well. I'm uh, Steve Deku. I'm the photo editor at The Torch. I do things related to photos, which I love to take on my free time and as a job. So. That's why I decided to do it. Pretty much just overseeing and managing everything. Um, I tried to make kind of game plans for every week. Um, try to figure out which stories need to be covered, what's going on in the university. Um, and also a big part of my job has been to train the staff. Um, had a lot of people on staff this year who weren't journalism majors. So I needed a, a little bit more coaching. And I tried to be that person for them and try to get everybody excited about journalism here. I don't know, getting people to put in their stuff and be able to follow the guidelines that are associated with it. So like labeling it and making sure it's not copyrighted or you know, just basic stuff like that. But I don't know. It's really just uh, overseeing what people do, which I'm sure everybody else can agree with. Um, the hardest part was actually trying to figure out like how to edit stories um, for people who aren't journalism majors because like in the journalism program, you always have your writing picked at you know, you have to have kind of a thicker skin to deal with it. And some of the writers I had this year, like, didn't always take kindly to having their work picked out like that. So it was just trying to find a balance where you wouldn't offend them and, um, and you would still be able to help them be a better writer. <laughs> it's hard to say, but I'm hoping that, you know, uh, an employer will look at that position and say, wow, He's got some dedication and some photo experience in working with a group of people like our awesome Meredith Editor-in-Chief. So I'm hoping that they'll, uh, I don't know, it'll give me a better advantage over somebody else for a job, pretty much, at a newspaper or at some place, a magazine, maybe. Um, my best advice is to not take yourself so seriously. Don't take the paper super seriously. I mean, it is a very serious entity here at Roosevelt, and I think it should be upheld and respected, and people should do their best to, to put out really great papers, and you should try your best to develop a really strong staff. But um, at the same time, just remember, it's still student journalism, and you still really need to have fun. If you're watching this and you're on the torch, um, and that you are able to dig up some dirt on the English page because <laughs> that's always fun and that um, you develop a lot of great relationships with your peers on the torch and that it makes you really smart.